If she's here, then show herself then. Come on then. Oh, okay, so maybe now she's starting to show herself. You naughty lady. Hiya folks and friends, I'm The Fringe, and welcome back to Pamelite. Now in the last episode, I didn't get too many endings done, but in this one, I want to try and get a good three. A good three, a nice round three. So, some of them might be spooky, some of them might not be too spooky, but we'll see where we end up and what goes on. Let's head straight back into the spookiness. Right, okay guys, I'm going to try not to show you the things I've already shown you. So anything that we've already read, I'm not going to reread, and anything that I think you've already seen I might try and cut out just so I can get a good few endings in this video without it being about seven hours long so we'll just go through it anything that I think's interesting I'll leave in anything that's boring I might cut out but I might just leave in just for the sake of it so we'll see what happens we'll play it by ear so approaching the house let's just turn some of the lights on to start with let's get like into a good environment where we're turning lights on and things are more nice because what I want is to be able to see and navigate and then I'll know fully what's going on. I still don't know where the for sale sign is. That's been driving me mad for ages. Got to fix this. If you had OCD, this game would be the worst thing for you to play in the world. Okay. Heading in. We'll try and do as much as we can on the first night. Because I know there's only so much you can do. But we'll do what we can. Yeah, and we'll do some cleaning. And uh, we'll try not to spook anyone out. It does seem a lot lighter in here. I've got to be honest. Take that. We do need that. Look at the calendar. Apparently you can comment on things. I didn't notice this before. But you can comment on things. We'll turn the switches on so when we're in in the morning. Definitely grab them keys. Because every time I forget to grab them keys, bad things happen to me. There's definitely been an update because... Uh, I can sort of see what I'm doing now. Whereas before I couldn't. I might be imagining this update, but I've definitely seen it. We'll have a look at the letter, but we've read it. Take that. Is there any... Uh, I swear there was um, a thing in my bob on there. Uh, a lamp. But apparently not. There's only so much you can do on the first day, I think. So, what's in this drawer? Did we see this last time? Crumpled paper? We didn't see this last time. And at the bottom it says, If she's here, show yourself then. Boots up, sword. What? What was that in my ear? We completely missed this last time. Right, okay. Um, F to put in English. Hello there. I can't, I can't see it. She's there. She's here. She won't leave us. Well, that's a nice way to start, isn't it? Straight in there with the spooks. Straight in there with the spooks. Let's turn this on, shall we? Get some light on the case, man. We're absolutely loving it. We love things being light. I don't know what to throw that away straight away. No one's going to mind if you throw that away, am they? Like, let, let's establish it's a full-on broken mirror. So that's gone. That's well out of the situation. There's a lamp over here, I remember. I think you've got to plug it in. Uh, can I plug it in? Turn on the lamp. The lamp won't work. I just want to plug it in. There we go. Connected. We haven't got power on the first night, have we? I remember. No, it doesn't work. Uh, what's in this drawer? There are things in these drawers that I've been missing. Completely missing. Apparently, it was about his sister being pregnant or something like that. Uh, let's read it anyway. Dear sister, I can't lie that I feel very surprised to get your letter. You usually send your greetings through mum. Of course I love you. I always have, and I always will. Really, is that true? I'm very happy for you, my sister. Nine more months, and you'll get what you've always longed for. You have to be healthy. You can't be stressed. Don't miss your big bro too much. Jack will still be busy with work, but I'll try to reach home when it's time for you to go into labour. Warmest regards, Jacka. Okay, so that's us, if I remember rightly. And that's quite nice, actually. Sister was having a baby. That's quite cute. There's a photo in here as well. Uh, I can't see it. Mom. I think it said mom. Oh, it's a baby. Is it of my sister or is it of me? I don't know. Lovely. That's nice, isn't it? That's all kosher and okay. Okay, so we're already finding things that we hadn't found before. But uh, we're probably going to have to go to sleep because uh, if we don't, then why won't this door open? Usually that door opens. Isn't that the door? Oh, uh, no, here we are. Uh, straight in the bed. Uh, turn the light off in here before we go to sleep so it's on when we wake up and head straight into night two because there's not a whole lot we can do but we can get the cleaning stuff now and have a look around and maybe try and get some spooks. I don't know whether to go straight in with the nasty endings and just try and annoy her because it just doesn't feel like the right thing to do. It feels like you're not playing the game properly but I do want there to be some spooks. 
We've already seen this context, so I'm just going to skip it. We're going to move on. Okay, so let's uh, carry on having a look around, shall we? Let's keep looking. There's a photo that's downwards here. Who's the photo of? Is that supposed to be me? doesn't say, but it was facing downwards, which is absolutely no good. Presumably that's the parents. Toy. What's the toy? My favourite toy when I was a child. Cool. Let's turn this on just for the sake of it. I like having light about, you know what I mean? We'll take the to-do list. Uh, take these. Now that I've taken them, I don't think I'll be able to remember. Nothing's creepy has happened yet. Some of these things apparently tie in later, so I don't want to throw them away if they could potentially have some signif significance later. That made me jump. <laughs> Commenting on that casually, that's fine. I'll take the axe, because, you know, it's good to get the axe out of the way, isn't it? Take the axe, live in the dream. Turn some more lights on. Oh, turn it off. Let's turn this on, then. Turn that on. Is it unplugged? It's unplugged, isn't it? There we go. That's lovely, br nice and bright now, isn't it? Like, we're actually not doing too bad. Uh, we could go straight in here and get the stuff. I think we probably should, to be fair. Get the cleaning stuff right off the bat. Straight in there. Okay. Having a cheeky meander around here. We've read that letter. I remember reading it. We've read that. What's this? Oh. Never seen any of these things. Cool. Take the cleaning tools, because that's what we do. We're all about this life, guys. Turn on, let's get some more light in here, you know what I mean? No more spooky, spooky face about. She's uh, not going to be all up in our grill, if you know what I mean. Don't touch the comb, because she doesn't like it when you touch her comb. It's her special comb. See, you can comment on the uh, paintings, but I don't want to because I'm going to annoy her. I want to get some spooky endings in, but first of all, I want to know the story. I want to play the good guy. Do you know what I mean? Although, I'm hoping for some spooks on the way as well, if you get what I'm saying. So, who knows? We could end up anywhere. Anywhere at all. Uh, teapot. Don't really need the teapot. This is a really old school TV, man. Considering, wasn't it meant to be the 90s or something? Oh, no, it wasn't. We're in the 30s, aren't we? I think. We're in the 30s. Okay, let's clean some stuff. You know what I mean? Get everything nice and nice and clean. Because uh, right now, it doesn't look all that clean. I'm trying to turn this lamp on so I can see. Boom. Oh, that's nice. Oh, there's a brochure here. We haven't seen that. So basically, I'm, think I'm assuming it's our sister. She was having a baby. And that... What's in here? Oh, it's the bathroom. Nice. Okay. Bathroom's good. We can take a bath again. We might as well just start cleaning up. Try and get a good ending, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know whether the ghost is going to present herself. I don't know whether she's going to go on a mad one if we're being good. But, what's the hair? It must be the ghost's hair. I'm definitely not saying that. Because, uh, apparently I can't clean it up either. This hair will not be cleaned. Oh, there's a box here. Never seen this box in the box. A wedding dress. Okay. Photo album. Let's have a look at the photo album. Can I open it? Oh, I made a jump. <laughs> well, that looks nice. It's weird that the wedding dress is in a box. That's a bit creepy. Definitely something creepy about that. Okay, so I'm just going to keep... I know I keep on saying I'm just going to keep on cleaning, but I'm going to have to do some cuts because basically if you just watch me clean forever, it's going to be really boring, isn't it? I'm going to head outside because I want to know basically where the uh, for sale sign is because uh, I haven't seen it anywhere. Right, okay, you would not put a for sale sign anywhere other than the front of the house. So what am I missing? Where where would it be? It's got to be around here somewhere. Lamppost. Oh, is this it? Ah, a symbol sale sign. Okay, so this is it. Yeah, I do want to make the sale sign. Nice. Boom. Happy about that. Okay. Uh, create sale sign. I need something to write with. Where am I going to find something to write with? I haven't found anything in this game so far that, that constitutes writing with. What's it got? Eerie? Does she not like the fact that I've put the for sale sign on? It's got eerie in here. It's gone got eerie in here. 
Well, she hasn't turned anything off. That's always good. Where would you keep a pen? Don't really need that on now, do we? Oh, stuff in here. What's that? Oh, there's another letter. We haven't read this letter. Uh, it's in Indonesian. Department of Finance. Someone's £15,000 in debt. By the looks of things. Oh, they've had a payout. I can't really make it out, to be honest. One of the two. Either way, it looks like a private document. Probably shouldn't be looking at it. Let's uh, turn the stove on. I don't know what that's achieved. Am I going to burn the house to the ground? I did click turn on. Don't want to turn on. Why did everything go weird coloured then? Ooh, weird. Okay. I think everything's fine. Why does she get so protective over a comb, man? I haven't touched a comb yet, but you know, it's the potential there to touch a comb. Anything in here? Pepper. Don't need. I just need a pen. Or like a paintbrush or something. What's in there? Uh, cloth. Okay. What? What's that relevant? Is that crumpled paper? What's that crumpled paper, sir? Make sure you have something sharp. I can't read that. It looks like it says, make sure you have something sharp to make Ren lack of. That doesn't really make sense to me, but okay. Uh, anything in here? No. She hasn't done anything creepy yet, but then again, I suppose we haven't done anything mad, have we? We've just come in and cleaned the house, had a look around, been quite respectful. We haven't touched anything. We probably shouldn't clean that, though. That's not nice. Boom. Like, she doesn't really have any reason to moan, does she? But, saying that, I would quite like a pen. This looks like a good place for a pen. Oh, boyo. I haven't seen this yet. Let's have a look. Oh, uh, right, okay. It's, I, I think it's, like, almost like a CV type thing. Just a, a little bit about himself. Paper clip in there. Doesn't have any significance. Is that a pen? Yeah, mark a pen. That's what we want. Yeah, all over that. We're going to put the for sale sign up. Well, we already have. We're going to finish clearing the house and we're going to sell it. And that's the good ending then. And then when we've got the good ending out of the way, we can start thinking about, uh, you know, going on a mad one. Yeah. I like that. Okay. More cleaning. Always more cleaning to do. You just move that back. Oh, she's toying with me. She just keeps moving that photo back. If you want it that way, then it can stay that way. If you're going to do it three times in a row, then I'm going to leave it that that way. I'm not going to do anything to you. You know what I mean? Rather that than you come out and like be all up in my grill. Let's clean that, shall we? We can throw this away, surely. She doesn't like soy sauce. Food packaging. Throw that away. None of this stuff's important. I shouldn't think. It's weird how because we're being so nice, we haven't had any sort of weird spooks or anything yet. You know what I mean? Do you think we have to close the rooms we can't get into? Because we can't get into that room. So do you think we have to clean it? Because surely there's got to be an ending where you leave on night two and get everything done really quickly. Because we can't go in there either. There's two rooms that we can't get inside. Which is worrying. Uh, I can reposition this going on. Yeah, nice. Okay, cool. Right, okay, guys. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Because I think I've done a fair amount of cleaning, what I'm going to do is see whether this gives me a good ending and leave and try and sell the house. And then hopefully we can move on to the spooky, spooky endings. But I want to do this first. If this gives me the same ending as it has in the past two episodes, I'm going to be really, really annoyed. Are we ready? Are we ready? I've done a lot of cleaning. I've done lots of cleaning. Lots and lots of cleaning. Ooh, it's a different one. It is different. Hard bargain. Even though the buyers need a lot of persuasion, the house is finally sold. Jacker deeply hopes that whatever accompanies the house won't show up again and that everyone would live happily ever after. Okay, so that is a good ending. And it is, in itself, an ending. 
Fantastic. Challenging the ghost. Are you sure you want to invite her? Okay, that's what we did when we picked up that thing, which is fine. Apparently, getting rid of the razor blade was no good as well. But, uh... Okay, so we're back. We're back. We're back. Have we got any more emails? No, we haven't had any more emails. But let's have a quick look over here before we go straight back in. Okay, so one of these is new. Which one is it? I think it's this one. It's this one, I think. It's one of those, anyway. So we have a few endings now. Things are starting to come together, guys. Okay, so... Let's get another ending. Okay, so I'm really hoping for a spooky ending now. What I want to do is I'm going to go in there and I'm just going to ransack the place. I'm going to insult everything. I'm going to go mad. I'm just going to just go in there and just be a rebel, basically. I'm not going to clean anything. I'm not going to care. And just see whether she full-on appears in my face and full-on gives me a good spanking. You know what I mean? Right, okay, guys. I've gone straight into night two. And all we're going to do now is wind her up, literally. All we're going to do is make things difficult for ourselves by basically just messing stuff up it's gone completely dark again i'm going to turn some lights on so i can see what i'm doing because that's a natural thing to do but as soon as i've turned all the lights on uh it's anyone oh what was that all i've done is turn on a load of lights and i just saw a random woman fly through the ceiling oh ah. Okay. I'm still turning lights on, guys, so I'm going to do a cut. What was that? I haven't done anything? All the lights went off? Oh, that's creepy. I didn't do anything. I haven't, I haven't annoyed anyone yet. I know it's my plan, but I haven't done it. Did you turn all the lights off? Literally everything. I cannot see a thing. Uh... Just turning on some lights, you know, trying to make the, the give the place a little bit of ambience. And she's following all up in my grill. Right, okay, guys, so we've got a little bit more light around there. She just turned something off, didn't she? Why are you turning things off? I haven't tried to upset you yet. I haven't done anything. I haven't tried to upset her. Maybe it's because I haven't picked anything up yet. Okay, I'll pick some stuff up for the sake of picking things up if that's, what, that's the way she's going to play it. But I genuinely haven't done anything, so we'll have a look at this. Take that. Uh, read this basically guys. We're just going on a mad one now. All we're gonna do is just mess stuff up So uh, that being said uh, push the rocking chair. Why not? Don't know if that's gonna do anything garlic. Do we really want that? No, that can go coffee gonna drink that drink the coffee Oh Yum 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 cold coffee from seven years ago. That's fantastic. Uh, let's comment on everything uh, This photo gives me the goosebumps <laughs> Oh, what I should have said is mythical stories are silly. Uh, can I comment on this photo? Nope. Uh, this photo. She didn't like this photo last time. When I tried to fix it, she got all weird with it. Okay. Fix that. Nice. She hasn't done anything yet. But, don't worry. I'm going to do plenty of things to annoy you, Bab. Okay, that does, I can't comment on that. I can't comment on this. Uh, inspect this. Can I comment on this? Nope. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. You're not going to lock it. I'm going to take the axe anyway. Smash that thing up. We're not going to use the cleaning equipment, but I'm definitely going to start smashing things up. You know what I mean? Boom. Um, what can I comment on, guys? I genuinely don't know what to do. Like, move this. How, how do I annoy her so much? That's been moved. Oh, the comb. She don't like the comb, does she? Clean the comb. Bam, your comb's clean, Bab. What are you going to do? That's what I thought. You're not going to do nothing. going to open this. Gonna light it. Gonna shut it. Uh, latch, brake lock. That's bossed. We're not even gonna go in there. We're just ruining your day, Bab. What do you think about that? What you can do. You can turn on the radio. Do you like the sound of radio? Don't know if you like the radio, but pull the antenna. Painting. She looks scary. Boom. Am I annoying you yet? I've got to be annoying you. I'm saying some horrible things. Newspaper. Can I comment on the newspaper? No. Magazine. I haven't done anything to annoy you yet, by the looks of things. I'm trying my best. Uh, just turn the stove on, even though it doesn't work. Let's do that. So whether we can set fire to the place, you know what I mean? Oh, that's on now. That's gas. 
Can we gas ourselves? Is that an ending? It gets dark when you stand there. Could potentially gas myself. I'm not going to stand there too long because I reckon that's another ending. But I don't want that ending yet. I want that ending later. Right, okay, so that's good to know. We can gas ourselves, I think, from what I could gather there. That's something interesting, isn't it? That's worth knowing. Uh, I don't know what else to comment on. Can we comment on any of these? Say so that our children are ugly or anything. No. Oh. Uh, we can straighten it. Does that annoy you? No? Are you feeling annoyed yet? I am genuinely desperate for a wee, but I'm in the middle of doing this, so I don't really want to do anything. Scissors. Throw away the scissors. Don't care about your scissors. Reposition that. <coughs> What was that cough? That wasn't me. I didn't cough. Let me jump. Or well, maybe it was our cough. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows with these things? Uh, is there any other ways that I can annoy out? What annoyed her last time? Razor blades. We can open the uh, bathroom, can't we? And uh, get a bit annoyed. Turn this lamp on first because it's all the way over the back here. Brill. Photo. Ah, oh, photo camera. It feels like she's staring at me. Oh, random singing. Don't go singing. Is she out the window again? In the demo, she appeared outside the window and she was like all up in our grill. Uh, I don't think she's outside the window. We haven't got the cleaning stuff yet, though. That's worth mentioning. Can you not sing to me, please? Let's throw this mirror away. Boom. Bathroom. Where's the bathroom? It's not that one, is it? Where is the bathroom? Thinking about it. This one. Nope. This one, isn't it? I think. Okay. Uh, come on. Turn on. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, let's throw this away. She didn't like it. I don't think when we threw that away last time. We'll put these in a safe place, because why not? But, uh... We're not trying to be friendly. Let's drum on the bucket. Turn it on the water. Don't know if you like any of this. What happens if I just keep drumming on the bucket? Gonna drum back? Nope. Well, that's nice. Okay. Am I not being annoying yet? Surely I'm being annoying. Gotta turn this off. This is annoying me. That's off. Um, hold that thought, guys. I am genuinely going for a wee in the middle of a video because I am desperate for a wee. Right, okay. We've pretty much insulted everything, haven't we? So what's the sitch? Push the rocking chair. We've already done this. She hasn't turned any lights off. I haven't. How have I not annoyed her yet? Just keep looking at things. Seen that. Look at the magazine. Where was her diary? She had a diary somewhere, didn't she? I can't remember where though. I don't know where it was. We can't go into, into any of these rooms yet, which is annoying, but maybe we can on night three. Could get to sleep, thinking about it. Okay, so we've tried to annoy her the best we can. We could legit just get to sleep. Take this. Take this. Take the marker, even though we don't really need it. Inspect this. Just keep looking at things and hoping she goes on a mad one. Ah, I'll tell you what we didn't do. We didn't open the drawers and have a look at the fact that she had a baby. That's something that we didn't do. Although, has she turned things off? What's going on? Okay, this is still open. We can look at this. Uh, just to annoy her. Well, I don't say just to annoy her, because it's actually quite a sensitive subject. But, we've already read it, so I'm not going to read it again. But, now that we've been a bit annoying, maybe she won't like the fact that we're looking at this, you know what I mean? She definitely won't like the fact we're looking at a picture of her baby. Oh, no, that was meant to be our sister, wasn't it? Is that supposed to be your mom? I don't know. Can, I, can we comment on these things? No. Okay. Why has she not done anything weird yet? Let's go into night three. Spooky, spooky, scary, scary time. This is exactly the same as last time, so I'm just going to skip it. We've already seen that dialogue. We don't really need it. But... The lights are still on, and that's nice. Is this lamp on? This lamp is on, isn't it? There we go. I like having lights about, you know what I mean? I'm just going to keep turning lights on because... I like having the lights. Because otherwise we can't see. I 
can hear a weird rumbling. But Oh, she's turned everything off. Completely everything. Oh, she's making things flicker. Oh, you're a naughty lady, you are. Can I turn this back on, please, now? Like, what are you going to do to me? Don't, don't go doing anything. Oh, what's that? That was a weird noise. Oh, we're definitely touching the spooks now. Well, that's on. You doing anything weird, lady? No. Although it's a game, it does feel weirdly disrespectful, uh, disrespectful being disrespectful in the game. If that makes sense. I don't know why. Just does. I wonder if now, because it's later, because we're on day three now, aren't we? The glass is already open. I was going to say. I don't know whether now, because it's later, maybe we can actually, uh, maybe we can go into that room that we're not supposed to go in. Any more lights? I need to turn the lights back on. What is that noise? She turned it back off, didn't she? She really doesn't like us. Can we open this now? It's day three. I thought because it was day three we might be able to open it, but it turns out we can't. What do you have to do to get into them rooms then? I genuinely don't know. I don't know what we've got to do to get in there. We can't get in there either. I thought because it was day three that we might actually be able to, but it turns out no. Is this the ghost? That's something that's going to annoy her. You know what I mean? Barrel. What's in the barrel? I used to hide inside. I used to get in this barrel. Well, that's creepy. She turned anything off yet? No, it's still getting more ambiently weird. But nothing's really happening. That's the one she doesn't like getting fixed. What? See, she moves it back. I'm just going to keep fixing it. And then she'll move it back again. Why does she keep doing that? How many times do we have to do this before she does something? What happens if I take a bath on night three? Have we thought about this? Just do it. I know night three is meant to be the scary night, but it's never too late to have a bath, is it? We're having a bath. Because that's how we roll. Did you turn the light back off? What was that? That was a weird noise. We're just getting weird noises. Don't want the weird noises. Old times, painting. I used to come here when I was a child. Oh, we didn't open these because there was things where you could taunt her, wasn't there? If she's here, then show herself then. We did that just, didn't we? Come on then. Oh, okay, so maybe now she's starting to show herself. You naughty lady. I'm pretty sure that there's an ending that you, if you really annoy her and then leave. Because that's got to be an ending. Push the chair. Okay, that's tucked in there. Do that with both of them. There's got to be an ending where you just do everything wrong and then leave. But that's not going to give us any spooks, is it? I don't want that. I want some spooks. Oh, we haven't thrown these away. Just throw them away. Is that going to annoy you? It got a little bit more ambient, but I don't think anything's really happening. Should we go and build the for sale sign just to see whether that annoys her? Just for the sake of it. Let's go and do that. Sale signs assembled. I've got the uh I've got the pen as well, so I can I can write all over it. I've done loads of things differently. This has to be a different ending. But I really want to work out how to get into that room. Getting into that room is the key. What's this? Talisman. Throw that away. Go on. Puff. Oh, there's some nails over here we can throw away as well, isn't there? She, do, she doesn't like it when you throw the nails away. Were they here? Yeah. 
Oh, what's that? Oh, that's creepy. How many things have I done to annoy you now, Bab? Where are you going to be? I'm not going to gas myself. It's not worth it. It's either this was Dad's or I used to wear this. Just say, I used to wear this. Dulu saya sering memakainya. Meski kebesaran. I used to wear this even though it was too big. Let's push this again. In the demo, I remember this rocking chair going absolutely mad. What? Oh, what's in here? Oh, this is the other room. How come I can go in here now? I couldn't go in here earlier. I swear I tried to get in here and it wouldn't let me in. Okay, that's a picture. Inspect the letter. Wasn't this the place with the diary? Is there a, is there a light anywhere? Okay. Is that turned on? It's terrible. Comment on this. Feels like she's looking at me. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, no, 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 no. Why she turn the light off for? What'd I do? I'm sorry, but I can't see where the light is now. Ah, there it is. I can sort of see a little bit better now. What's moving? There's something really weird going on here with the way that it's moving. There's another radio in here. I didn't notice this last time. Oh, that's really weird. And there's a cassette. Can we put the cassette in? Dad's favourite old songs. I really didn't notice that last time. Why can't I open the wardrobe? Dad's important documents. But we haven't done anything with them. I don't want to do it, but nothing seems to be happening. There's no spooks. I need to know how to get into that room, and I don't know how to get into it. But I get a feeling, with everything that we've done so far, if I leave now, it's going to unlock a different ending. Or maybe she'll jump up behind us now when we try to get out. Oh, that's annoying. We've already got this ending. Oh, that's really irritating. I think we've already got this ending. I think. Have we? I don't know. Let's have a look. It's called leaving a mess behind. Oh, it's dark out again now. It wasn't before. That's strange. It changes between night and day. Let's turn this light on so that we can see what we're doing. No. It's the same number that we had before of endings. Okay, guys. I'll tell you what's definitely going to be a different ending, but it's going to be really boring. And that is if we walk straight in, grab the keys, and then go away like, nope, absolutely not. Not touching that. Nope. Why is the dynamic change? Why is the dynamic changed? I get the feeling the more you play this, the more it tries to intensely get you involved. And the keys aren't there. What? It's coming from outside. I'm going outside. The game has never started like this ever. Why the sudden change? Why would it change like that? The keys aren't here. Why is that? It's like it knew. It's like it knew what I was going to do. I was just going to run out the door with the keys. If the keys aren't there. Why 
Where's my stuff as well? Where's my stuff to unpack? This is different. This is completely different. It's creeping me out. Why all of a sudden be so immersive in the cleaning? Or knocking? None of this was happening before. Something's changed. But what? Maybe it's because we're getting further into the game and it wants to keep us on our toes because it knows you keep on replaying this over and over and over again. Oh, there's the keys. The keys are in a different place. Oh, do I just go straight out or what? What do I do? Is that going to do a different ending? I feel like this has started different. I feel like there's going to be something more, something different. No, I'm going to leave. I think the more endings you get, I think it just gets more dynamic. So we're going to get out straight away. Which is fine. Okay. We'll go away straight away. And yeah, new uh, new ending. Get the fuck out, basically. Yeah, sound ending. Jack barely does anything and decides to go out from the house. He leaves the house in empty and abandoned without doing anything, letting it rot and to be abolished in the next few years. Okay. So that's an ending in itself. Cool. We've got a new email. Yes, this is what I'm after. A new comment has been posted on your Suetty Game IO page. I don't know what that is. Wow, I can relate so much from this. Yo, I mean, I've met the ghost. She's so freaking scary with all of her laughs and her scary hair and her pale face. My God, I thought I wouldn't stand on my own two feet again, Lamo, but it's so weird. I mean, like, her clothes are all dirty and bloody, yeah, but she smells so nice, kind of like graveyard flowers. So weird, not like that I want to see her again, though. Do not reply to this email. What a weird email. <laughs> Okay, that, that doesn't make sense. That hasn't done anything for us either, I don't think. But that's another ending unlocked. I don't like it. It's night time now. It's creepy. Let's turn the light on so we can have a look at our achievement. Right, okay. So that is another one. I don't know which one it was. It's, uh, I think it's this one, is it? Yeah, it's a picture of the swing. Okay, cool. Uh... Let's get another ending in. Right, okay, guys, I did do one more ending after this, but me being stupid, I muted my microphone and forgot to unmute it because I am stupid like that. Uh, I don't want to disgrace this game because I want this playthrough to be a good playthrough, but the only thing you missed from my next ending was I came back into this room here and I flicked this switch to turn it on and it instantly got flicked off. And it really, really weirded me out because it was just like, okay, this is like our safe place. Like, nothing bad happens here. And then it's just like, it's starting to to be a part of what's going on here. And it really, really freaked me out. I'm gutted that I pressed mute on that last playthrough. Although, if you look here, you can see that we got a different ending. You didn't really miss much. Basically, what I did was, I went through to night two, insulted a few things, and then left. So that I got sort of like a, I'm out of here type of thing. So we are making progress guys which is the main thing. It might not look like much and we haven't had that many spooks yet but I am going to keep on playing this game and the more we play it and the more I understand about the game from your comments and also looking at other things we'll get those spooks eventually because I am going to go through every single ending of this game. So stay with me on this channel guys if you've come to me through this game. I'm not particularly good at it but I'm getting there and we will get through all the endings and if anything it's going to be all the more spooky because we, we're not expecting it basically. Because we've gone through all these sort of like blasé type normal things. Oh, I've just thought of something else that was actually in that last playthrough. And it was another thing I just remembered, guys, that was in that last playthrough that I did. Was that there was blood on the floor. It was exactly the same as every other playthrough. Just as, as we started, there was blood on the floor. Not as we started, as we walked into the house. And that was completely new. I'm completely gutted that I forgot to press record on my microphone. Because otherwise I could have shown it here. But basically it just goes to show that the game is more dynamic than I originally thought it was. It basically says that sort of like you think you're going into the exact same situation as you've been going into for the past however many playthroughs. But the more endings you get, the more creepy things happen. 
and the blood on the floor was definitely a big one. It's it's really an <laughs> really annoyed me that I can't show you because I accidentally muted my mic. And I'm sure you guys will find it frustrating as well. But bear with me. We are getting further into the game. And at some point we will get into those mad spooks. So if you like this video, guys, please be sure to leave a like. Please be sure to subscribe. And uh, try not to hate me too much. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye. One more thing guys, if you like this video be sure to check out more of my videos below and be sure to subscribe to become a friend of the fringe by clicking my face which is also in a circle down below. Thank you very much for watching.